The controversies surrounding the scarcity of the redesigned Naira notes have become more intense following the inability of commercial banks to put enough cash in the various automated teller machines, ATMs, across the country for customers to withdraw. The scarcity has now created another means of extortion of the public as traders now sell the new notes as social functions for those who indulge in spraying money. The situation was compounded by the revelation made by the Department of State Services, DSS, that it arrested some syndicates holding the money and selling them to POS operators who have equally increased their charges on withdrawal made by customers. A legal practitioner, Mr. Olufemi Ayadokun, described the act as unlawful. He stated that holding and selling of Naira notes in black market is against the act that established the Central Bank of Nigeria. If you counterfeit in um, currency, you know, the DSS are out now to apprehend those who do that. The EFCC is also out to um, apprehend those who do that. It will attract appropriate jail um, sentences under the um, criminal laws. But by virtue of Section 20 of the CBN Act, it is illegal, it is counterfeiting, racketeering in, in um, money. But too many times, we close our eyes to these things because of what um, we find on ground. Look at those who they call the black market in terms of foreign exchange. What they are doing is illegal, it's unlawful. But you discover that that window is there because citizens cannot easily access foreign exchange through the CBN or the deposit money banks. And you know, <laughs> the law of demand and supply will come into play. So those ones are the forex and folks go to them to buy when they can't get it at the bank. Speaking in the same vein, a retired teacher, Chief Wale Oyeni, noted that Nigerians are being subjected to needless and avoidable sufferings, adding that the economy is worse for it. According to Chief Oyeni, the extension of the deadline for the swapping of old Naira nodes with the redesigned nodes will not yield any positive impact so long as the old Naira nodes still remain in circulation. Ah, there's one novel which I read when I was a student in Faso Bada. Cry the beloved country. <laughs> we are in trouble with this country. We are in serious trouble. It, it means it's not only the leaders that are having problems. Even the followership, everybody is having problems. All of us are having problems. I know the case. How can you, how can you add crisis to already crisis treating people? We are being traumatized already. We are being destitution already. So I think these people now they are being callous, you know. But the whole thing is caused by the central bank, by the central bank and the government in power. They are to be blamed. If you are to change the money, since you've announced, you're supposed to be bringing out the new currency, not that you're that you'll be holding it. It will be recalled that the Central Bank of Nigeria recently announced the extension of the deadline for swapping of old Naira notes with the redesigned notes till the 10th of February against the initial date of 31st of January. The CBN governor, Godwin Emefiele, had argued that the extension of the deadline was to allow the Apex Bank map up more old notes from circulation, adding that several billions of Naira are still stashed away in people's homes. A financial expert, Mr. David Awutipo, maintained that the Apex Bank is saddled with the responsibility of overseeing the monetary policy of the country and mopping up excess money in circulation would help stabilize the value of the Naira and make the job of the CBN easier. He however frowned at the way the CBN is going about implementing its cashless policy by inflicting hardships on the masses, most especially as the scarce new Naira notes are found in abundance at social events and with POS operators who have increased their charges from 10 to 20 percent. The CBN has to do more monitoring on the commercial banks. There has been a lot of um, allegations that the commercial banks are holding or sometimes uh, selling off the new notes, which is uh, not expected. So if the allegation is actually correct, I think the CBN need more monitoring on the commercial banks to ensure that the money uh, being paid out on the counter and likewise on the ATM machines are new notes. That's the best way we can have to 
ensure the money gets circulated. Speaking in the same vein, Another expert, Mr. Abolanewo Latunde, called on the Apex Bank to monitor the way the new notes are being dispersed by commercial banks and prevent them from getting into the wrong hands. If they want to do this, there should be enough time because uh, as they are retrieving the old notes, no substantial or no corresponding uh, uh, amount of the new notes to replace the old. So it means the CBN and the federal government, they are not prepared for this exercise. Because if they, as part of the monetary policy, uh, to control the excess money in the circulation, if they know that it's 3 million or 3 billion in the circulation, they should already have another new 3 billion new Naira notes. So as they are retrieving the old, they will be pumping out, out the new notes. They called on the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, Department of State Services, DSS, as well as other security agencies to clamp down on syndicates holding the new notes for selfish gains and save Nigeria's economy from total collapse. Oluchi Amuja, OSBC News.